Welcome to day 19. Day 19 is about DOS. DOS, DOS, what we are going to talk about and what is DOS? DOS is nothing but your dangers, your opportunities and your strengths. Dangers, opportunities and your strengths. So it nicely ties in with what we did yesterday, which is your goal implementation tracker. So we brought everything together. Uh, all the stuff that we talked about, you know, the people, the form, form club, 20 form club, 20 people in your life, your relationships, your things that you don't like, like, and so, 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 it's all there, right? Perfect. If you have downloaded, just do let me know, you know, that you have downloaded, so otherwise I'll be talking to you. So, this is what we did. Uh, if you haven't completed, please do complete this today because it will be beneficial and tomorrow uh, we can talk about it uh, for this. So, uh, uh, because what we'll do here is we will talk in pairs. So, so Ooh. Lydia, I will I will share mine to you, and you can share yours to me. And Aurora and Deepa will do the other way around. And we'll spend like ten minutes talking about our goals, so that we make each other accountable on this. So that's where we do. So complete this today, uh, if you haven't. Otherwise, this is where we left yesterday. Actual results column, obviously, you don't know. It nothing has been completed this week, but we'll go from there. So what we'll do here is open your DOS sheet. So what DOS tells you is this. DOS tells you, okay, fine. Overall, very first question. This is what we call the R factor question. So any interview, I always ask that. In any meeting with, with a client or anybody whom I'm meeting for the first time, in the podcast, I normally ask it at the very last question. So if you are meeting here from today, look back over those years, say three years, as I told you, I work in three-year cycle. What has to have happened during that period for you to feel happy with your progress? This means that you are not saying I will, you will say I did. Because yes, what has to have happened? So which means you are now going to take a piece of paper because yesterday we worked through affirmations. We, we also going to do affirmations today and work through your look at your goal implementation tracker and primarily you are just telling yourself, I have done this. I have traveled to this. I have got a new role with an X amount of salary. I've got a new relationship. I've got a new home. I've got X, Y, Z. So I want you to go and take two, three minutes of your time and finish the answer to this one, clearly telling you, I have done this, right? If you see my, this is my new laptop. If you see my old laptop, this will be in my screensaver, which reminds me, okay, it, there will be few buckets. I, I might show you next time, but that's an old laptop. What, is, what are my priorities for focus days? What are my priorities for free days? What are my priorities for the buffer days? And then this R factor question will be right on the top, right on the top, the answers to that. It means I have done this, I have done this, and the period will be there. Sometimes it's good to write it, but where do you normally see more often? Yes, it's your laptop. So I suggest once you know, done this, you know, make it as an image and put it as your screensaver or put it as your main background image. So please do and work it through. If you are meeting here again in three years time, what has to have happened during that time for you to feel happy with your progress? That's it. Once you have written it, let me know. I have done this. So you are telling that it has already happened because we are meeting in three years' time. Once you're done, let me know. If you have five goals, then there are five things. So whatever you've written there as your goal, you're simply saying, I have achieved it. All right? Once you do more and more of that, it happens. 
let me know when you come back. Good. Now you have done that. I just want to proceed to the next one, which is like biggest dangers to be eliminated. What might stop you from doing this? What might stop you from doing this? Um, that's dangers. Opportunities means what? Because these are residues, right? As a residue, so you may be saying that I am going to get a new role, next amount of salary. So there could be some opportunities, some residues that might be coming with this, or um, this is just the cause and effect of it. So I just want you to slightly go deeper and say what the biggest opportunities to be focused on and captured. This could also be simply your goals. But again, I just want you to slightly think, what if you achieve that? What's the biggest opportunity to be focused on? The third one is what's the biggest strength? You are not starting, always remember, you are not starting from a point of zero. You're not moving from zero to one. You're already in one because you are here doing this. So it's simply, you're already moved from where you started. So you simply need to go from one, two, two or three or four or five. And that's where we need to get to. That totally depends on you. So what's the biggest strength to be reinforced on? About you, about people around you, about what you have, things you have, tools you have, anything and everything. Just want you to take time and think carefully because you have the goals, five goals, and you are telling on our factor question that I have done this, but now you are thinking carefully about the dangers to be eliminated, opportunities to be focused on, and the biggest trends to be maximized. Please do take your time and do this. I'll give you five minutes or so um do this and then we will get to our affirmation meditation
Right. Let me know when you have to. Perfect. Just think it through carefully. Okay. So, what we have done today is oh, let me scroll down. 
Right. So what we have done is we took our goals and we then put that into another filter that says, oh yeah, there is goals, I'm going to achieve goals. But there are certain things that might stop you from doing. These are fear, which is like, mm, this is going to take me to a totally different zone, right? You're going to procrastinate, that's fear. So you're going to find what are the dangers that's going to stop you from doing, right? Next is excitement, right? When you start to move towards something new, you are going to learn something, you're going to get something new. So what you're excited about, the opportunities, or opportunities you would regret not capturing, right? These are opportunities that you might think, hmm, it's not there, your bucket list. What you're confident about are the strengths you have gained from previous experience. Remember, you always need an anchor point. The anchor point is somewhere in your life, you already have gone through a battle and you have broken that barrier and you have come out of that barrier. And that's your anchor point. And you just need to remember about that anchor point and say, yes, I, I saw that. We already saw that before. You know, <clears throat> your bothers was bothering before, but today it doesn't bother you. Today it's a different bother. You just need to work through that fear, that excitement and confidence. And that's so how we are going to break it. So by tomorrow, I just want you to finish your dangers, opportunities, strengths. And I also, also want you to finish the goal implementation tracker, think it through, go as much detail as possible, as specific as possible. And then between us as a group, we can share it uh, in pairs. Um, and then we will have a good long meditation. Then Monday, we will bring it all together and we'll finally wrap this up. So that's it for today. It's DOS, dangers, opportunities, and strengths. Put that in this filter. What might stop you? Let's plan accordingly to ensure that this doesn't stop you. And let's think about the exciting new things that we are going to do together. And also, you are not on your own. You have your own strength inside. And then your team is there with you to take you forward. So that's it. Let's move into an affirmation-based meditation together. Mastering the first hour of the day is only one part of the puzzle. Hello and welcome. Start by finding yourself in a safe, comfortable position. Arms comfortably by your side or on your lap. When you are ready, allow your eyes to gently close. Bringing your attention inwards to your breathing. Noticing the gentle rise and fall of your chest as everything begins to slow and calm. On your next breath, take a deep breath in, fully expanding the lungs and chest, and then slowly exhale and allow yourself to relax. Let any lingering thoughts float away and disappear. As you keep your attention focused on your breathing, using it as your anchor, to which you can return at any point you may find your mind beginning to wander. Begin to take slow but deeper breaths as you release all of your body's tension and give permission for every muscle to relax and loosen. Suggesting to yourself that you are inhaling positive energy with each breath in and relaxing even more deeply with each breath out.
Shortly, we will begin with the affirmations. These can be said out loud or in your mind. These affirmations are focused on self-love, helping you to be kinder to yourself. Affirmations, when repeatedly said, become the thoughts that in turn create your reality. And it is so important to accept and love yourself for who you are and not for who you think you should be. The more you hear these affirmations and the more you say them, the more you begin to believe them and accept them as the truth. Believe in the words you are saying and make them the truth about you. As we now begin, I am a beautiful person. I am worthy of great things. I am loved by many. I am happy, calm and content. I am proud of who I am becoming. I am in control of my life. I am accepting of myself. I am becoming stronger every day. I am grateful for my life. I am capable of anything. I am choosing to put myself first. I am calm and in control of my thoughts. I am loyal to myself. I am comfortable in my own skin. I am freeing myself from negativity. I am enough just as I am. I am creating my own happiness. I am enjoying my life journey. I am kind to myself and those I love. I am always willing to change. I am always growing and learning. Okay. 
slowly bringing your attention back to your breathing. Again, notice the gentle rise and fall of your chest, keeping your awareness with your breath. Take a deep breath in, fully expanding the lungs and chest, and then exhale and let it all out. Repeatedly saying these affirmations will help affirm them in your mind. Always say them with full belief that they are completely true, even if at the time you find it difficult. Remember to be who you are, not who the world wants you to be. Treat yourself as though you are someone you love, someone you care for, and never apologize for being you. When you are ready, slowly open your eyes, bring yourself back to the room around you, as my voice leaves you now, continue to be kind to yourself. Nice. So that's the end of day 19. We have two more days together and tomorrow we'll bring it all together. Um, in our goals implementation tracker, be absolutely sure on this and any dangers, um, opportunities and strengths that you want to emphasize, we can talk it through among the pairs and then we'll close it tomorrow. Then we'll get back and go all the way from day one to day 20, what we have covered and you can pick your best tool and you can move forward. So that's it from today. Thank you for joining so far. See you. Thank you. Thanks again.